Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Gaming. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to view your scoreboard in Battlefield 2042. So you can actually see what's going on in the game. So let's jump in the view right now. So this is what the current scoreboard looks like in Battlefield 2042. You can see your squad performance as well as your kills and your overall score. Then you can see the latency in the upper right and the time left in the game in the upper left. Now, if you're on the PlayStation or the Xbox using the controller, there is no button for this currently mapped on your controller. So that's one of the reasons why it's difficult to find this because it's simply not mapped on the controller. If you're on the PC, all you have to do is press the tab button. Now to map this to your controller, we have to press options and go to the options window. Now we have to go over to controllers using the L1 or R1 buttons. Now under controller schemes at the top, go to soldier controls and switch this to custom and soldier buttons, switch this to custom as well. Now using R1, let's tab over to controller mapping. Now let's go to on foot using R2, then scroll on down under this list until we get to scoreboard. Now by default, full map will be selected for the touchpad on your PlayStation controller. I think it will be the menu button on the Xbox controller, but I'm gonna restore everything to default. So now let's go ahead and clear out full map for the touchpad, and I'm gonna put this to my scoreboard. So let's select this and press options and clear up full map and then move this over to scoreboard. So let's press X on scoreboard and then press my button. Now I was thinking I might want to have this as my bottom D pad down button, but this would be your firing mode. So if you want to go from all full automatic to just single fire, you want to be able to select that anymore. So let's select the touchpad and map this anyway. Then if you do have full map still mapped on here, it will not work if both things are mapped to the same button. So you have to unselect full map for sure. Now let's back out. And if I hold down the touchpad now, I am able to bring open my scoreboard just like that. So either the touchpad or I was thinking maybe the bottom D bad down button would work well with this. You can still see your full map if you spawn a vehicle though because we only mapped it to the on foot. So now that I'm in the vehicle, I can see the full map. So just when I'm on foot now is when I can view my scoreboard. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Gaming.